I'm actually going to start in the middle of the cemetery. This is Wavercott Cemetery in Oxford. And I'm looking for J.R. Tolkien. I thought I'd better start in the middle of the cemetery since I think you'll like what I found. Just like some other cemeteries, like in Australia, where you're looking for a poet, Henry Lawson at Waverley, J.R. Tolkien's grave is actually signposted so you don't have to go hunting through the whole cemetery gotta zoom out a bit so if you're looking for them follow the arrows easy to find once you follow the pathway we'll take a little walk through the rest of the cemetery and it's not the rest I'm not in a time frame And here we go, we got the next one. That points that way. You get these from the front of the cemetery all the way to the other end. We've got Edith Mary Tolkien. John Ronald Raoul Tolkien, Luthien and Beren, which are characters in their books. His book, I mean. I haven't read all the books. Some messages include thank you, and the Elvish symbols. A walk. <laughs> I've just been looking at the bigger part of this, older part of the cemetery. Which is a little more grassy. <laughs> oh, pardon me. I can't tell you the history of the cemetery or who else is buried here. This does seem typical of a English cemetery, and there's a rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Whoops. You get squirrels, you get rabbits, but you don't get snakes. And the good thing about this cemetery is it has a public toilet.
can you tell some of the cemetery is old? Just look at the grass. It's not as spectacular as a lot of other cemeteries I've been to on my trip away. That's a good walk through. At least uh, the long plants and flowers will keep the bees happy. <laughs> 